Hi everybody, I'm G1 Rideo with G1 Insights and this message is for our beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising on Venus and Taurus, okay? Taurus, let me tell you something crazy. I tried to do your love, your extended mini love reading and nope, it did not work out right. <laughs> for some reason, it did not work out right. Like literally, like the cards all over the place, video cut off on me, like it was just so crazy. So it makes me feel like we need to pay a lot more de attention or detail to something very special to us, okay? Um, so let's, we're gonna do your extended mini love reading and I'm super excited for you guys because I do feel like there are some major changes coming along for all earth signs but for you Taurus you know Venus your ruling planet is going to be in Gemini the first week of April so you know there's definitely going to be a lot of flirt flirtatious energy and a lot of sexy powerful intuitive energy happening for you the first week of April expect your intuition to be at an all-time high the first week of April okay guys expect to also be feeling a bit distracted or not really wanting to be around too many people at one time because I feel like you're gonna be very very sensitive to other energies as well the first week of April okay guys picking up on other people's energy is very crucial around this time especially because you are very sensitive by nature so it's really important that you protect your own energy and um, really just be mindful of the things you say or how you say it to people try your best to be as nice as possible as well okay and be very kind be very kind you know show that side of you that we don't really get to see that most okay so Taurus this is your extended mini love focus for the month of April 2020 let's see what spirit has for you my love all right I feel like I shuffled enough my hand hurts <laughs> all right let's see what's going on oh uh oh wow a card fell on the floor and it says stabbed in the back. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Hammer. Wow. So a few signs actually got this. I think about two or three Zodiac signs got this card. Oh, wow. Hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Interrogation. Repetitive. Being persistent. Okay. Really, really like something. Like I said, guys, something is really echoing at you the first week of April. Something is Echoing at you, okay, trying to get your attention. Like I said, a lot of details is a lot of details need to be paid attention to this time, okay? During the especially the first week or two of April, your attention is needed very heavily when it comes to an individual, a situation, a home, your home environment, or even at work, okay? I feel like for some of you, I just heard somebody at work likes you very much. And for some of you, if it's not your job, then it's definitely somewhere you go very locally or very close by. This person has their eye on you, okay? Heart with the key. That is the next card. Wow, very beautiful. Like I said, a meeting of one another. A meeting someone new, someone fresh, out of the box, stinking, okay? Someone that is totally um, off your radar. Someone that you will barely even look at, okay? It's going to be a very surprising type of love event, okay? Um, or this could just be you saying, you know what? I'm okay with bringing new love into my life. You know, I'm ready for this. Oh, okay. I'm ready for like this whole new start, this new person. I'm ready to just open my heart, you know. Um, and for those of you that are already coupled up or kind of have your eyes already preset on someone, then this can be an invite to really kind of get into know this person a bit better, get in together, you know. I understand that you don't want something perfect, but you want something that is very close to perfection. And this person, for some reason, they really can show you what that looks like. And I feel like, you know, either you or this person is really hammering at you or you're hammering at this person, okay? Because that's what the hammer energy is about. Not giving up, being persistent, letting it be known, okay? This person wants you. They want your attention. They want you to know how they feel for you, okay? Or this could be you doing this to someone, Taurus, okay? Very beautiful, by the way. Oh, abundance. I like this. I like when it's come out, okay? Abundance. Keeping a positive mindset. Like I said, I feel like you guys are opening your heart, being more happy, and, you know, you're like, okay, you know, we can do this. You know, you're trying to work your magic and trying to get it when you fit in that. So this is a really beautiful energy, okay? You're manifesting exactly what you want, Taurus. You're manifesting exactly what you want, okay? So this is really beautiful. And like I said, oh my God, what did I say in the very beginning? Like, you guys are really 
following your your heart this season. You know, there's this this new bliss or wave about you that you just can't seem to resist. Like you want more, especially that first week of April. You're like, oh, I'm in love. I'm happy. You know, not saying that it's perfect, right? And even if this don't necessarily have to be just a romantic thing. This could be with friends family just overall like in your life and or your lifestyle this could be with your job you're just finding peace and happiness in the little things and that's exactly what spirit wants for you taurus spirit wants you to appreciate the small things so your energy is right on point okay being grateful expressing your gratitude and your bliss and being you know attracted to everything that represents love and light so that is really really beautiful on a sexual plane you know romantically <laughs> okay spiritually and even mentally this is really beautiful for you we also have addiction oh okay so this again guys i don't know this person i feel like this person is you know we got him in here which talks about being persistent not giving up so there's definitely for some of you either you could be the possessive one or somebody is being extremely possessive over you okay this is interesting this is interesting energy guys possession obsession con being controlling okay um or has has a block to something you know or feeling like you're being restrained from something you know so it's like it's either like this um i want to go there but then you can't i want to go no you can't you know like it's like this I'm, I'm trying to do this but it's just every time you turn around something is in the way and i feel like a lot of you are like no i'm breaking down those walls oh i'm gonna get through to this person you know or this person is trying to show you i am nothing like your ex <laughs> i'm nothing like the rest of whoever you were dealing with okay i'm here to love you to show up and show out and i'm going to give you a good time you know and so spirit is like cheering you on at this point you know i feel like the universe really is like go 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 you know like you're being cheered on and you're being cheered on because they want you to know that this person you know you have like the key to their heart okay or vice versa and one of you are like no we're not giving up i'm not giving up okay we worked hard for this okay i don't care what they say i don't care who's talking about us i don't care who's judging us quote unquote i love you and you love me we've been through hell and back together we got over this so we're gonna get over that okay yeah and it's so beautiful because it's like your union is so tight you understand and again guys it may not be romantic for some of you it could be in regards to friendship or family you're not letting it go either way i feel like you again you guys are finding the joy in some things right so this is really really beautiful now for some of you that have been having your heart open and looking for something new um yeah you guys might be in for a little treat or a little surprise by the end of april okay well i do know we have a full moon in libra the seventh april give or take a day we had the new moon in your sign the 22nd not the new moon the sun sorry and then as we go further into the month of april then we're gonna have the new moon in taurus so that's gonna shed a lot of light you know on your personality people gravitating to you wanting to get to know you wanting to take you out you know wanting to kind of show off show you off okay to the rest of their friends okay meeting family members okay but i feel like you guys are you know even though you can't do too much at the moment right i feel like you guys are finding the joy in the little things and take note though taurus and they can by some chance right make the best of this particular situation guess what you got a winner. You got somebody that really knows how to make you smile and dance in the rain in the middle of a storm, okay? They know how to make you bust out laughing, you know, shake your foot and make you dance. And, you know, they can bring that side out of you. And that's what you want, you know? That is what you need, Taurus. You need someone who can do that for you in times like this. Because that lets you know that you are safe. You are grounded. You have some 
someone, no matter what happens, they got your back. And that is what you need. So this is probably the perfect time to check in with your core values. You know, this could be a twin flame for some of you. A lot of us are being challenged with a twin flame energy this whole year, really. But this season, you know, for the next few months, a lot of us is going to be challenged with that whole twin flame energy or challenges um, or even soulmate energy back and forth. So this could very well be a, a soulmate or a twin flame, okay? But this person is not giving up. They're like, no, I want you. I'm not... I'm not going to stop, okay? So, Taurus, let's look at your soul's energy and see what the universe has for you or what your soul is yearning for. Maybe there's some type of advice that you need, anything you may have had questions to. Hopefully, Spirit can answer your questions by looking into your soul, my love. So, let's see what the Spirit has for you, okay? Uh-oh. I'm going to show you that one more time. All right, here we go, Taurus. Ooh, all right. I know that I'm never alone. No matter what happens, whether me and you work out or not, I know that I'm good. I know that I'm protected regardless. I know that I'm safe. I know that I'm loved. I know that I, you know, I'm being challenged for my greater good. I know that everything fell apart for a reason. I know that even though I sit up late at night and I cry about my husband or about my wife, you know, and about them not doing me right, I know, okay, I know that I'm never alone. I know that God has a greater plan. I know that I'm going to greater places. And so, yeah, continue to have that faith, okay? Like I said, Taurus, I feel like a lot of you have been manifesting this thing, okay? With abundance being here on top of loneliness, okay? You guys have manifested this, okay? You Just because you, you have went through a period of, you know, kind of being like, you know, the hermit and manifesting and taking some time out for you doesn't mean that you're lonely, I'm learning a lot about myself at the moment. Thank you very much, okay? I'm learning much more about my spouse or about the people that I love the most. I'm learning a lot more about my core values and what really, really matter to me at the moment. So, no, lonely, lonely where? I got all this joy going on. Lonely where, okay? Absolutely. I know that I'm never alone. I have great friends. I have a great um, relationship with my family, you know, I have wonderful children that adore me, okay, so whether this marriage works out, it is what it is, okay, for those of you that are looking for that relationship, I'm never alone, okay, do you, hello, look at me, do you see how many people want me, that's your energy, Taurus, and I love it, <laughs> I love it so much, guys, thank you for watching, I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers, please hit that subscribe button or that bell, it's right there below, so please comment and share and subscribe, and share this message around the world, because everybody deserves to hear this message, okay, I love you guys, bye, uh-oh.